Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I am fine. That's great. Yes, I'm really tired. Yeah. I imagine a lot of work. Yes. Where do you work or what do you do? Yes. As an old way. <laughs> Another day's at work. Mm -hmm. Mondays are usually kind of uh, heavy, but we did it. <laughs> we survived to another Monday, another work day, another dollar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so and the rest of you, how are you today? How do you feel? Uh, Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening everybody. Good um, evening, Walter. How are you? Excellent, teacher. So uh, excited because I almost done a platform exercise, only missing a couple of exercise. Even uh, I get a certificate. Yeah, Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Good evening. Awesome. Time I get my first certificate from platform. Uh-huh, that was, I was telling you, and the previous models that we were in a different program, you yeah. had to wait for the certificate or go to the um, academy and get it, right? Yeah. And in this case, in this, um, in este programa, ustedes mismo lo, lo descargan, right? So yeah. that's, uh, that's one of the advantages, aunque no tenemos manual aquí, pero tenemos el material, tenemos la plataforma y la facilidad yes. del certificado, ¿verdad? So that's yes. important, but keep an eye on the previous uh, ones so you can get it them. Um, anybody else? I'm happy that most of you have been working on the platform and um, you have successfully completed. But for the ones who haven't, please keep in mind that we are reaching the, the half of a model. So it is important for you to have at least the 80% completed on the platform. And also I think that uh, the people from administration is requesting for you to send the paperwork, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's keep an eye on that. And um, well. I have a question about the, the mentor exam and final exams. It's like a really exam or, or one choice or of one chance for completing? No, you can correct it. If you fail, if you miss it, you, you can go ahead and, and correct the, the mistakes. Okay. Yes, thank you. you have that chance as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Reina, no sé si es con nosotros. No, creo que no. <laughs> okay, uh, any other question or comment? Yes, I mean, I need help to solve some exercise feature. Maybe you, you made me, uh, a favor, a favor to solve this part. For example, um, um, section four, exercise 13, 4.13. Okay, let me get ready. Yeah, yes, I saw that some of you were asking for help uh, a couple of minutes ago. Mm. I was already in class, but yes, we can go ahead and do these exercises together. And for the ones that are missing those exercises as well, yeah. you can take notes. And uh, okay. when, when you get there, you're not going to have the same issues. <laughs> yeah. So uh, are they from section four, you say, right? Uh, section four? Four, yes. Okay, let's take a look. Mm, kind of a slow, but I'm recording. Four point thirteen. Oh, this one. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's see. Let's just write the questions to this answer. 
write the questions to this answer. Angel Foss is not type. Okay, so we need to write the questions for the answer. Yes. Okay, so you're having and issues. Uh, in, in the last, is a problem or issues? The last one. Let's yeah. Check the number four. Washington, D.C. So you have tried to solve that one. Yeah. Mm. My answer for question could be uh, how hot hot in Washington, D.C. How hot in Washington, D.C. No. Oh, no, no. How hot in summer? is in Washington, D.C., for example, could be. Okay, how hot? In the summer? Uh, in... Primero dijo how hot is? How hot is in Washington, D.C., in the summer? Mm, first, the country. Okay. Capital letter. Sí, yeah. Washington. DC, it's like, and then D. Yeah. That C, that in the summer. And it's a question. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's a order. How hot is Washington, D.C. in the summer? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to share it in the chat porque no se ve como completo. Hay que ponerle uh -huh. la puntuación y todo lo que va ahí. Uh, could be a space. Uh, Podría ser, o tal vez algún uh -huh. punto. Acuérdense, después de la coma le puse espacio. Uh -huh. A veces son esas cosas también, ahí se los puse en el chat. Ok. Por si alguien más le da problemas este ejercicio. Ok. ¿Y los demás ya completaron todas? Sí. Sí. Yes. Uh, number one. How... How high is four in the angle? Okay, how high? Vamos bien. How high? Four in the angle? Oh, is the angle. How high is? Uh-huh. Yes. Angel. Four. Uh-huh. Is it's the angels. Angel falls. And that's a question, so we Angel need to- Angel falls. Angel falls, uh-huh. Okay. How, how high is, is Angel falls? Yes, but it's giving me an um, error. How high? Is and your faults. Yes, I don't know why. Yes, probably. Hmm. Is angels false? Ah, yeah, man. Is and ah, angels. Indy. So let's in angels fall. How high is angels falls? Fall. Oh. And the question mark. Yes, oh. thank you so much. I was missing the letter S. Me faltaba la S. <laughs> ya ven un ejemplo de la paciencia que tienen que tener. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. Teacher, yeah. and the uh, final exam and the part E. <laughs> Lo puedo poner en el, en el chat, por 
Sure, let me see. Me perdo el chat con el chat. Okay, yeah. uh, there it is. How high is angels falls? Okay, any other from this part? Mm. Or we go to the number five? In <clears throat> final exam, teacher? In part E? Okay, so part E. Hey. E. Is this? Okay, this one is the one that is strong. Yeah, uh, this exercise sound like a report a speech, teacher. Right, your money. It's to complete the request. It says, look at each message and complete the request. Placing the name in parentheses in this in its correct position. So, uh, complete the request. The test on Thursday, please tell. Okay, we have to use the name on parentheses. And we have the first one. Please tell Ken that this is on Thursday at 1 p.m. Or Ken that the test is a, okay, number one. Oh, so the first one. Uh -huh, the first one is given. Okay. Uh, uh -huh, la primera ya está hecha. Es el mismo ejemplo, ¿verdad? Sí, pero yo las otras no las pude hacer por más que seguí el ejemplo. No las he podido completar. Ni yo, teacher. Okay. The test. The test on Thursday. Can the test on Thursday? On Thursday. It's at 1 p.m., right? Uh, it's at... Capital. Uh, 1 p.m. Okay. Ay, ¿por qué puse dos puntos por estar pensando en capital? The best on Tuesday is... In... Can the test on Thursday is... In... Okay, so nadie ha podido completar, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos no, a Alex. Meet me after the class today. Would you ask? Would you ask? Como ya tiene, would you ask? Sería el nombre de Alex. Would you ask? Okay. To meet me after class today. After class today, and it's a request. And then there is a volleyball game tonight. Could you tell? Um, and then, le podría decir a Marcus. Tienen que. Could you tell Marcus? Uh -huh. There's. Uh huh. Ale to it to meet me after. Uh huh. Pero no se cumple lo del dat como al principio, teacher, en el ejemplo. Eh, lo pueden poner. Uh, vamos a ponérselo aquí. Would you tell Marcus that is that? Uh, that. Both, uh, both that, ways is correct. Then both ways. Vamos a ponerle uh, con that. That there is a Marcus that volleyball or... game tonight, right? Uh -huh. Volleyball. Uh, volleyball. Volleyball okay, tonight. Okay. Come to the picnic on Saturday. Please ask. Mm -hmm. Please ask Paula. Mm -hmm. Come to the picnic on Saturday. Yes. 
to the picnic mm. on <coughs> Saturday. Um, Vamos a ver cómo nos va. Eh. Can the test on Thursday is at... Ay, es que le puse dos puntos ahí. Quizás era esto. Paula, to come to the picnic on Saturday. Um, to the picnic on Saturday. Ok, la primera era porque le puse dos puntos al final de esta. Se la voy a ir copiando en el chat. Porque um, como no salen completas, ok. Um, That's one. And then number two, Alex to meet me after class today. Uh, number three, Marcus, that there is a wall game uh, tonight. Okay, now what are we doing around here? Paula, Marcus, two, to you, come. You, come to the picnic on Saturday. The picnic, uh, uh, Paula. A double space after Paula, teacher. That can be. Okay, I have no. on double space. Double bones, what else bones. can we do here? Paula. To the picnic on Saturday, 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 so I will move capital. Saturday. Let's see. Ah, mm. está poseído. <laughs> oh my God. La mayúscula de Saturday. Sí, ya se la quité en la, en la previa. Como ven acá en la previa, lo tenía con mayúscula. Saturday. ¿Será que aquí necesito? Paula, con to the ¿O le faltará el dat en el caso ese? Come to the picnic. That, pero sería that to come. Come to the picnic on Saturday. Tampoco. What happened, teacher? I don't know. I think it's a glitch here. Ah, ya vieron. Ok. What is, what is the problem? Le quité el signo de pregunta y le puse un punto al final. Oh, ok, teacher. O oh, si es que ya saben, cuando lleguen por allí... <laughs> Vaya, sure. aquí se las pongo. Pónganle punto, <laughs> no le pongan question mark. <laughs> y este es un buen ejemplo. <laughs> the picnic, come to the picnic on Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahí se las puse en el chat también para que ya vayan sabedores de que esta cosilla caprichosa <laughs> no agarra la question mark ahí. Thank you, teacher. Aquí un punto. Necesitamos un punto. Ok. Sure. Ajá. What number section? Este es el examen final. Sí. Ejercicio la E. La parte la E. La segunda del examen final. Esta. Eh, sección 5. No. De la, del examen final. Este es el examen final. Este Total. sí es. Ese eh, me ha dado problemas. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. So, ¿cuál es la instrucción aquí? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? Los demás ya lo hicieron. Yes, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. No. Uh, letter so, B. Give the answer. <coughs> instruction. <coughs> the conversation. Yes. Use the correct form of the verb. Yes. So you get an idea for, of the verb you need to use. So, in the number one, what uh, what is the answer here? What do what do you plan to do tonight? What do you? So in this case is plan. Only plan, plan? to do. No, to do. To do. Uh 
to do? Infinity. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What do you plan to do tonight? Yeah. Uh huh. And let me. I want to stay. Want to stay. Stay. Okay. Number two. What going are you doing today? Uh huh. Going to do. Porque es tomorrow, verdad? Mm -hmm. yeah. Going to do tomorrow. Now, we we would like to have. Okay. We would like to have. Uh, what do you? Hope to do. Hope to do after graduation. I I will love to travel. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. No. Okay, they are correct. Ahí pueden tomar no. notas no. o si les sale mejor tomar un screenshot de la pantalla para que vean cómo le tiene que quedar el ejercicio. O tomar una foto también con el teléfono, se puede. Mm -hmm. Me costó ese, teacher, definitivamente. Ay, oh, sí, pero sí. yo le ponía parecido y nada. Bueno, Por pero más, ya, tuve, gracias. Honestamente, teacher, tuve que estudiar las reglas de los infinitivos. Ah, ok, that's awesome. Sí. <laughs> ok, um... So, any other question? Yo no logré tomar el screenshot. No me salió bien el que tomé. Vaya, este era el 2 del examen final, ¿verdad? El 2 B. No era el B. ¿Dos qué? Dos. Era el la examen final, la letra B. Vaya, no, ahorita así. se lo voy a mandar el B. Creo que sale completo porque lo voy a mandar desde el teléfono. Veamos si sí, ya me sale resuelto. Y como son cortas, sale completo. Entonces se lo voy a mandar aquí. El 2. Oh, would love to travel. Ok, ya se lo voy a mandar ahí al chat. Please, teacher. Yes. Thanks. All right. So, um... En P3. Lo voy a hacer ahorita porque si no se me olvida. Alguien está diciendo hi, hi, hi. ¿Quién es? Era yo. Ah. <ríe> ok. Um, sending them right away. Dos, tres. Ok. Uh, there you go. Now. Uh, we're going to start uh, section number three, and then uh, the name of this section is May I Take Your Order? So it's going to be quite simple. Let's see. We're going to be talking about foods. Okay, this is not open. Okay, now. Let's take a look to this vocabulary that we have here. We have uh, um, noodles first made in China around 1000 before Christ, right? Coffee first farm in the Middle East in 1855. Okay. What about chocolate? chocolate. Brought to Spain from Mexico in 1520. Mm -hmm. All right, French fry, first made in Belgium around 1,680. Now sushi, modern style sushi, first made in Japan in the 70s. Okay, the sandwich named for the English Earl of Sandwich, in the 1760, oh. pizza, first pizzeria in New York. Okay, city opened in the 1895. And the hamburger 
invented in Connecticut, USA in the 90s. Okay, well, so we got noodles, coffee, chocolate, french fries, sushi, the sandwich, pizza, and hamburgers. Now, what is this exercise about? What you need to do is to put the foods in the order from your favorite to your least favorite. So for my list, yeah. the coffee goes first. Now, uh, mm, yeah. well, or social, okay? <laughs> I'm in troubles there. Yes? Do you, do you share that presentation? Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, I sent it on the Saturday. The oh last man del sábado. Y les puse una gran letanía ahí, deseándoles feliz fin really? de semana. Yes, yes, yes. Rendí oh en la <ríe> Yo oh afligida mandándosela el sábado para que la vieran, si podían imprimirla. <ríe> no sé si alguien la puede reenviar. Quiero ver. Mi teacher. Ok, thank you. Ok, so the rest of you can... Uh, are working on, uh, on this, um, put the foods in order from your favorite to your least favorite. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a couple of minutes. May I take your order? Yes, that one. <laughs> okay, teacher, I got it. Okay, who would like to start with the list? A couple of them? Um, all of them. Oh my God. Okay, for me, it would be coffee, yeah. sushi, noodles, pizza, chocolate, sandwich, french fries, and hamburger. I don't really like hamburgers a lot. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Okay. Any other volunteer or you need more time? Me, teacher. Okay, Reina. I like coffee. I like sushi. French fries. And chocolate. French fries. And sandwich. Chocolate. French fries. Coffee. Sushi, this sandwich. Okay, thank you so much, Reina. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. My favorite food, uh, first, a uh, coffee, uh, the hamburger, French fries, the sandwich, and this one, uh, chocolate. Okay, nice. Thank you so much for sharing. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. In my okay, case, I, I like coffee and I like a sandwich. Um, and I like a uh, hamburger. Um, even though when I feel sad, I don't know, I like to eat chocolate. I don't know. Ah, yeah. yeah, I have yeah. heard that it, it they contain something that yeah. uh, brings a substance to your yes. brains yes. That, that that provides you like a feeling of happiness. Yes, uh, yes. I have heard yes. that. That's probably yes. why. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, any other volunteer? 
Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, my favorite food is I like pizza, coffee, french fries, the hamburger, of course, chocolate. Excellent. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Glenda. I like um, um, sandwich, a pizza, hamburger, chocolate, um, french fry. I never eat sushi. I don't know. Noodles and the last coffee. I don't like coffee. <laughs> Okay, nice. <laughs> oh, so you see many different um, yes. um, customs. I, customs. Uh, yes. I, prefer, I prefer milk or water, but coffee, no. Uh, coffee is not good for health, but no, <laughs> you may get addicted, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking a coffee before the chief starts. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, any other volunteer? Teacher, uh, coffee and milk is it good sometimes? Mm, yeah. Yes, it's, it's good, but the bad thing is if you drink too much, it's not good. <laughs> when I suffer in a gastritis, yeah. There should be a balance, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we have a conversation. It is titled Going Out for Dinner. We have that one in the platform. So we're going to go there and listen for pronunciation. And after that, we're going to practice it. Let's see this one, going out for dinner. Let me share sound. Okay, there we are. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Did you notice how they use either and to in the dialogue? Excellent. Now what I want you to do is to practice the conversation with a friend. Okay, so let me try again. Um, do you know any, um, any famous Japanese restaurant here in El Salvador? remember a uh, name Suchito. Yeah, the yeah. best one. <laughs> Benihana's. Oh, Benihana's. Uh, yeah. I, I remember that there was one in La Gran Via, but I um, I think mm -hmm. it's not there any longer. Where is now Benihana? I think the uh, it is in uh, El Paseo. Ah, okay, in El Paseo Mall. Okay, interesting. Now, uh, do you have any question about this um, conversation, maybe a new word or something that you'd like to know before we start practicing in group? What is it, Oja? What is the meaning? Um, it is the name of the restaurant. Oh, it's okay. a proper name. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. Okay. When I say uh, I love it, I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Eso se refiere a que no estoy como como animado. De ganas. De ganas. Uh -huh. yeah? mm -hmm. No estoy como uh, okay. de, de humor para eso o de ganas. De... Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to create the sections so you can practice in groups. Let me go ahead and 
Yeah. What is the meaning? Uh, it's a bit spicy. It's a mm. bit spicy. Es un poco Picoso. condimentado, picoso. Mm -hmm. Es un poco picante. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we are going to join the rooms and practice and this conversation. Ok. ¿Y eso lo mando por WhatsApp, la, la, la presentación? Yes. Vamos a ver ahorita. ¿Y del teléfono puede ser que puedo compartir? Ahí está ya. Ahí está ya. Ah, ok, ahí está el, el, el diálogo. Ah, ya está, ahí, ya, ahí está. Ver. Bueno, somos cinco. Dos primeros y así vamos, y después que repita el otro. Va, ok. Sí, estamos ya. Ah, la teacher está aquí. Está. Sí, la teacher. Entonces que empiecen los primeros dos, Mauricio y Dalia. Y después que continúen dos y después digo yo. Ok, eh... Yo soy Jeff. Okay. Hello. Okay. S okay. Uh, say, say, do you want to get something to eat? Sure. I'm tired of studying. So I am. So what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it a bit spicy. Do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like a lot. I, I like it a lot. So the, I am I know a great restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh I've I've always wanted to get there. You did a very, very good job. Excellent. I guess let's repeat this one. Spicy. Spicy. Yeah. Awesome. Spicy. 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 Mm -hmm. Spicy. OK, good. Continue. Thanks, teacher. Are you fed up with me? You OK. Fear? Yes. Say, do you want to get some something to eat? Sure, I study of studying. So, I'm I. So, what do you think of India food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I get it by spicy. Do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like it a lot. Creo que va con Soto. Soto, I am I now a great restaurant here. It's called Airoa. 
Oh, oh, I always want to do there, to go there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Eh, continuamos con Griselda Falta. O, o... No, okay. The Dalia and the Mauricio. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am Bob. Okay. Say, do you want to get something to eat? Sure. I'm tired enough studying. So, um, I saw, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in in the mood of uh, in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Spicy. Do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do I. Uh, in. I know that great restaurant there, there it's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Okay, thanks. Marisa, you, Jeff, and me both, please. Okay. Say, do you want to get some time to eat? Sure, I start of studying. So, uh, I, so what do you think of India food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not a, I cast in the past Spain. Do you like Japan food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So oh, do no. I, so do I, I'm I know a great restaurant near her each color, you know. Oh, I uh, always want to go there. Thank you. Okay, um, remember that you can put some things together. Um, so let us repeat together. Say, do you together. want to get something to eat? So do you want to get to eat? Something, something to eat. eat. Uh-huh, one more time. Say, do you want some, uh, sorry, let's start again. Say, do you want to get something to eat? Say, do, do you, you want, want to get, to get something, something to, eat? to eat? Sure, I'm I'm tired of studying. Sure, I'm sure. tired of studying. Study. So am I. So am I. I so am what I. do you think of I'm Indian I. food? So what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it at today. I, I love, love it, it, but I'm, I'm not, not really, really in the mood, mood for, for it today. today. Uh -huh. So in esta parte es la que podemos unir varias cosas. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I'm, but I'm, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. But I'm not really in the mood for it today. Uh -huh. Y también el for it. For it today. For it today. Uh -huh. Repitámoslo todo junto. I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for today. For okay, it today. one more time. I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. I love I it. Love I love it. Love it. But I'm not really in the mood to the, for today. Uh -huh. But I'm not really in the mood for it today. But I'm not really in the mood for it today. Excellent, Dalia. Okay. Yeah, I'm not either. I get it's a bit spicy. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not, not really either. I, I get it quite spicy. A bit. It, a bit. A bit, a bit spicy. A bit spicy. spicy. Okay, spicy. one more time. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Yeah, I'm not either. I get it. A bit spicy. 
Spicy. Mm -hmm. Spicy. 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 Mm -hmm. Spicy. Do, you, do you like Japanese food? Do you, do you like, like Japanese, Japanese food? food? Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I like it a lot. So do I. And I know a great restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. So do so I. So I. And I know. So I. I know a great restaurant. I know a great restaurant. Call it, uh, yeah. Call it, you know. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Oh, oh I, I always, always went to went go there. Go there. Okay, continue practicing. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank Eh, Maritza Padilla. No. Ok, entonces otra ronda, chicos. Ahí este. Um, yo soy Jeff y voy con. Eh, hey. Con Alfredo. Hey. Yes. Ok. Eh, Say, do you want to get something to eat? Sure. I'm tired of studying. So I am. So am I. So what do you think of Indian food? I love it. But, but I'm not really in the mood for, for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it a bit spicy. Do you like Japan food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do I. I know I'm a no great restaurant near here. It's called Iron Iroa. Oh, if always want want uh, want to go there. Oh, I always want to, to go to there. Uh -huh, uh, I've, uh -huh, I've always, I've, I've, I've always, always want, wanted, wanted to go there. All right. So, um, do you have any questions? How do you feel that practice? Was your practice okay? Yes. Yes. What it's did okay. You say? Yes, it's okay. Spicy yes, it's okay. or bit spicy? Bit spicy. It's spicy. Thank it's you. a bit spicy. spicy. Uh -huh. Bit, así como se ve ahí. Bit, and then spicy. That's kind of different, the, right? Together, spicy. spicy. And the name and the name of restaurant Iroha. 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 Yeah. Iroha. Iroha. Yeah. Any other question? Okay, so let's see what's next on the platform. We have the next video about so, to, neither, and either. Let's see if I'm turning chart sound. Okay, set and done. Either. I like Japanese food a lot. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. 
I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of to is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. To. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary. Plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statement. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Okay, so this is what we saw in the videos. Is that clear for you? Do you have any questions? A teacher, when you say neither and either um, in the explain the video, say neither um, use at the beginning, um, either the end, but using a positive auxiliary either, sorry, so positive, negative is either, and positive neither. It's correct. But that in is, this case, but in this case, use a negative auxiliary. But it's correct. In uh -huh. both ways. Uh, the thing here is, yo es como dividirlo. En ambas casos es como para mostrar eh, que estamos de acuerdo o que coincidimos. Mm -hmm en opinión, ¿verdad? O en gusto, eh, ambos casos. Solo que digamos que en, en, lo vamos a dividir aquí como positive en negative, ¿verdad? Es el mismo chart que tienen aquí. Solo se los dividí acá en esta diapositiva, se los dividí así. Si estamos haciendo un agreement en in, in positive sentence, po, usa, podemos usar so o podemos usar to. Si estamos expresando eh, que está de acuerdo, que son similar en nuestra opinión o gusto, eh, en una negativa, entonces usamos neither o either. Mm. Ajá. Por ejemplo, oh. si alguien me manifiesta una oración en negativo, como por ejemplo, I don't like salty food. No me gusta la comida salada. No voy a usar so ni voy a usar to. Porque mm. me está expresando en, en negativo. En I negativo. Don't, uh -huh, I don't like salty food. Entonces yo quiero expresarle que a mí tampoco. Entonces puedo hacerlo con neither o con either. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que el neither es para, no necesita el auxiliar negativo. Porque ya empezamos con neither. Y usamos el mismo auxiliar de la oración, ¿verdad? Neither do I. 
Pero si voy a contestar con el auxiliar negativo, con don't, entonces uso either. either porque si no estaría either. como negando dos veces. Si yo digo I don't neither, eso es incorrecto. No es necesario. Ok, so si voy a auxiliarme en el, en el auxiliar sin ponerlo en negativo, entonces pongo neither al principio y el auxiliar oh, normal, ¿verdad? Ok. Yeah, neither. Yes. Ah? I got it, teacher. Se desbloquearon un chakra. Yeah, hoy. yeah. <laughs> Definitivamente. Sí. Con new neurons in my brain. Yeah. Se les acaba de morir una neurona. <laughs> es una, es una de, las dos, de las dos respuestas, ¿verdad, teacher? Ajá. You're doing bueno. science, teacher. <laughs> ah, es que es, por eso se los dividí así. Sí. Los dos ambos. Eh, y aquí es importante, puede hacerlo de cualquier manera. La diferencia es que con neither ya él es negativo. Neither. Y para contestar con él, empiezo la, la, la respuesta o la oración con él. Neither do I. Pero si voy a usar un auxiliar negativo, entonces uso either como I don't either. Okay. Y va al final, ¿verdad? Y va al final, ajá. So, pero no puedo combinar, ¿verdad? No puedo decir, I, I do either. No, no puedo. O lo hago de un modo o lo hago de otro. La diferencia okay. en dónde está es en que ta, el auxiliar, si va afirmativo, yo uso neither, porque neither está haciendo la negación. Pero si ya tengo el auxiliar en negativo, entonces uso either, porque ya el auxiliar es quien se encarga de hacer eh, la negación. Y lo que decía en el video es bien importante también. Todo va en presente simple, ¿verdad? Estamos expresando uh -huh. facts, eh, gustos, eh, etcétera. Entonces se usa el presente simple. Si la oración está en, en presente simple como acá o acá, solo que estas son afirmativas y estas son negativas. Y es el presente simple con cualquier verbo como en este caso like, entonces nosotros sabemos que el auxiliar que se usa es do o don't, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Does o doesn't, si es tercera persona, entonces ese es el auxiliar que utilizamos. Ahora, si en la oración está con verbo be, como acá, I am crazy about the Italian food. Entonces vamos a utilizar el verbo to be en esa respuesta, en ese agreement. Right? Teacher. Y en ese caso sería not, no don't, porque acuérdense que no se mezclan. Diga, Glenda. In this case, in this case, I can say eh, I do like so salty food in my eh, y puedo contestar si se, si lo estoy haciendo así como en positivo, cambiando el don't por el I do like salty food. Podría contestar, so do I, o I do too. Ajá, so, la único es que cuando estamos haciendo oraciones en afirmativo, en presente simple, no utilizamos el do como auxiliar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, si solo usted sería... quiere decir, me gusta la comida salada, solo dice, I like salty food. Y ya la otra persona dice, so do I. Y en el, para utilizar el do en positivo, en este caso, ¿cómo sería? En este caso, si usted ve un verbo acá, como aquí está like. Uh -huh. eh, entonces, eh, digamos que eso es lo que le va a ayudar. Si usted mira que está el auxiliar can, entonces va a contestar con can. Si ve que está el verbo to be, contesta con el verbo to be. Pero si la oración no es con to be, ni con can, entonces vamos a contestar con do. ¿Un ejemplo? Sí. ¿Ah? ¿Algún ejemplo con, que, que fuera así, que no fuera con el to be ni con can? Drink. Y que se pudiera... Ajá, si yo digo, uh, yo tomo mucho café, I drink a lot of coffee. Mm, so do I, o I do too. I do okay. too, or so do I. Yeah, Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Teacher, I guess you think uh, Reinita doesn't like salty food. Will be say neither. Neither do I. 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 Neither
Neither do I. Uh huh. Okay. I feel so happy for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Any other question? Teacher. Sí. Yo este hice de todos, o sea, me gusta siempre traducirlos y y, y anotarlos. Cuando dice, este, yo estaba ahí teniendo algunas confusiones por lo que usted está mencionando ahorita, porque eh, ahí, ahí, por ejemplo, no sé, en, en, esta, ¿no? este, en el siguiente ejercicio creo que, que dice, I'm not either, que significa, al menos así me, me salió a mí, yo tampoco. ¿Es correcto eso? Sí, si usted dice, I don't either. I am not either. Ajá, o sea, si usted lo traduce a ambos, le va a dar lo mismo. Ajá, porque también neither am I. Ajá. Yo tampoco, ajá. Solo que uno, como lo que usted estaba, perdón, Walter, lo que usted estaba este, uh, mencionando, que uno es en negativo y el otro es en, en, en positivo. Ajá, este ya es negativo, el neither ya es negativo, entonces no. Neither am I. No necesito poner esto en negativo, el auxiliar o verbo o el auxiliar que esté acá. Y si ya uso el auxiliar en negativo, entonces pongo either. Okay, y va a ir al final. Ajá. Teacher, o sea, que es, inco es incorrecto. A veces yo he oído que dicen, hey, me too. No es incorrecto, es lo más fácil. No es... Ah, <risa> se pregunta, se me viene a la meta. Es... Me too. Ajá. Sí, me too. me too. Es lo más ya. fácil. Ajá. Ah, ok. Pero. Es el único que me salía. Lo, o sea, ya se los demás. Is the o sea. wild card. <risa> <risa> yes, okay, esa okay. es la wild card. Esa okay. es. Ahí no, no hay complicaciones. Si ustedes dicen, ay, ¿cuál auxiliar? Entonces mejor diga, me too. I, I forget, neither, neither, me too. Entonces diga, me too. Esa es la white card. Esa le va a salvar. Automatic. Yes. Ok. okay. Uh, any other question? Teacher, se puede decir, me neither. Ajá. Uh -huh. Me neither. Ajá. Easy. Esa sería la negativa. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So, me alegra que ya lo comprendieron. Mañana lo repasamos y lo ejercitamos. Vamos a okay. hacer ejercicios con esto. So, no ha muerto aquí el tema. We continue tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you for joining. Uh, sleep well okay. and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. See you.